Good morning guys and welcome back to another daily market outlook. So the market has been moving extremely boring. It's replicating crypto pretty much. As we can see overall, the dollar index has just been consolidating uh, with this pretty much being the range high and this over here being the range low. So we're just stuck inside this range. I could kind of like say, hey, uh, this is gonna happen or this demand or this supply is gonna play out. But as we can just purely see is that if I draw in my range trading tool, we pretty much have that 25% mark acting as your area of support and the 75% mark acting as your area of resistance. So just stay in the boundaries of that 25 and that 75% mark, trade from there, buy here, sell high. Uh, so yeah, buy low, sell high, as simple as that. Uh, I'm not really gonna go too much into detail. Obviously, I would still prefer a further upside push on the dollar index. If we look at this chart, we can see that the overall area of supply, which we have positioned over here, has been now hit twice. Um, so I would preferably see it just yeah, start to skyrocket up higher. But yeah, that's me. For the rest, uh, obviously, we have the swing low and we have the swing high. So overall, we're just bullish with the correction now breaking out out of this decent wedge. Now, going on in towards Euro USD. EURUSD overall, if we look at it from a four hour perspective, is also consolidating. We hit this area of demand over here to perfection and then we skyrocketed up. We hit this area of supply over here, we reacted, but we didn't really see any push um, higher or a lower, excuse me. Uh, we didn't, we saw like kind of like a, a mini push lower, let's put it that way, but then we just ended up breaking the overall area of supply. Now, what was the demand on which broke that supply? Well, that was this sell before the buy. So now what we can see is that we're inside of that area of demand, so we're now looking for higher prices. What I would like to see is one more push down, liquidate the low, and then take a potential long to uh, yeah, liquidate this overall swing high where a lot of stop losses of short sellers are positioned above. So that's the main setup that I'm looking for here on Euro USD. Now, moving onwards in towards AUD USD, it is the itself very similar to the dollar ranging guys um, not a big fan of trading this pair at the moment very similar to euro usd this was supply and then we broke supply from this demand so this demand should now hold and push price up higher so definitely looking for a potential long then going towards the 15 minute time frame and see if we can get any nice long positions what I would wait for is definitely some bullish momentum to come in, start breaking the highs uh, if we see a nice impulse above the fractal high, and then potentially a pullback and then continuation. So that is Aussie dollar moving on in towards pound dollar. So pound dollar overall going in towards the four hour time frame. We are respecting this area of supply. Uh, pound dollar I would really like to see for the downside. Overall on a daily time frame, we're inside daily supply. So go back in towards the four hour time frame. Then we have this supply zone as well. Um, what we then wanna be looking for is a potential short further in towards the downside. So we're inside of this area of supply over here. So I'm definitely looking for some further continuation uh, down lower. But for that, we do need the 15 to kind of like show some bearish momentum. Looking at the four hour, again, this is supply. Uh, we have a lot of liquidity below kind of like this trend line. So yeah, I would prefer to see lower prices from pound dollar. Now moving onwards in towards Kiwi dollar. So Kiwi dollar overall, what are we seeing over there? Kiwi dollar also stuck guys. I think it's very clear that since the 16th of May, so pretty much for three weeks now, we're just stuck inside of here. Uh, again, I can say, aha, we have supply here or we have demand here screw that um all i'm going to be looking at is the higher time frame then we have daily supply obviously this daily supply zone should play out and push price down lower we have ascending corrective price action so i would prefer a further push downwards from kiwi dollar for sure going in towards our last pair which is gold gold itself uh, has pushed in towards four hour demand so we're now inside four hour demand over here and from here we're looking for a reversal up higher what i want to see is this four hour fractal high break boom 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 this is what I'm looking for. Extremely simple, but effective. Uh, again, we kind of have this descending uh, yeah, corrective price action. We hit this area of demand, which we were targeting for quite some time. So now we want to see the bullish momentum kick in. How do we know the bullish momentum is going to kick in once we see that four hour fractal change in structure? So that's what I'm now waiting for. So that's it for today, guys. Pretty simple. Um, yeah, some moves are to be made this week, but let's wait and see. Thanks.